Hey everyone, before I get into this video, be sure to enter our giveaway for the Origami King, aka the new Paper Mario game coming out on July 17th. The giveaway will actually last the, from now through the entire month of July. To enter, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and hit that bell icon. You can do that on every video from now until the end of the month, end of uh, July, that is, uh, when the winner will be announced. Okay, so we got to talk about Pokemon Unite. And... It's weird because I was actually going to live stream the presentation for this game. I even had a video uh, that I was going to release the day before. It's actually recorded and sitting here on my computer where I talk about what could be in that Pokemon announcement from the Let's Go Johto rumors to our speculation, I guess you should say, to Pokemon Stadium and all this stuff. And something inside me told me to not release that speculation video because I had this gut feeling that we were going to get a bait and switch. And then as we got closer to the presentation, I was setting up for the live stream and I just stopped and said, something tells me this is not going to be worth streaming. So I didn't. And then Pokemon Unite ended up being announced. And the reason that I guess I feel like it's a bait and switch is because there is a total disconnect between the Pokemon company and its core fan base. See, Pokemon Unite, there's nothing wrong with the game on the surface. Pokemon has a ton of spin-offs, a ton of them. Heck, we got Magikarp Jump, for crying out loud, a game all about jumping Magikarps on, <laughs> on our phones, right? Like, we get a ton of crazy Pokemon spin-offs. I mean, heck, even the, the much beloved Pokemon Snap, that I was a new Pokemon Snap coming, like, that was even a spin-off. So, I'm not even against Pokemon Unite as a game. For those who don't know, Pokemon Unite is a Pokemon MOBA, like a League of Legends style MOBA game that's going to be playable on Switch and obviously all of your mobile devices because that's where MOBAs are most popular. So I have nothing wrong with the game. I, I watched the entire presentation. I read the information after the fact. It looks like it's going to be a solid um nice starter moba maybe develop into something more if you're really into mobas and you really love pokemon i could see why you might be excited about this game the problem isn't the game and that's the weird thing about this is oftentimes when you see all these negative reactions i think there's over 130k plus dislikes versus 70k likes on the launch video worse on the trailer it it's not the game that's the issue it's the pokemon company and Game Freak, and the way that this was handled that is the issue. See, if Pokemon Unite was announced last week when there was a different Pokemon presentation that had Pokemon Cafe, Pokemon Smile, like, and obviously the new Pokemon Snap, it wouldn't have been received this way. And it wouldn't have been received this way because it would have just been another game announcement in a slew of other game announcements. But that's not how they chose to deal with Pokemon Unite. No, no, no. They decided at the end of last week's presentation that they were going to have a separate presentation and they were going to tease it as a big game they're working on. Here's the thing. What's a big game to Pokemon fans? Yes, Pokemon Go might be the biggest thing they've ever done, but that's not even considered a big game to Pokemon fans. Sword and Shield is considered a big game. Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee was considered a big game. Big games often mean core gaming experiences in the Pokemon franchise or bringing something that's already been established as a much beloved thing back, like a new Pokemon Snap or, in this case, you know, say a new stadium game. But this game was treated as if it was a major deal. And here's the thing. For the Pokemon company, it might become a major deal. It might be their new, their new uh, you know, Let's Go game, their new Pokemon Go game. It might be a huge deal and be massively profitable for them, and that's why they treated it special but it's still a spin-off and you can't call a brand new attempt at a spin-off game a big game or a big reveal that they're working on it needed to be tossed in with pokemon cafe and pokemon smile you notice how people did not negatively react to pokemon cafe and pokemon smile and they weren't even negatively reacting before we got the new pokemon snap reveal because hey look pokemon company does this they started off with Smile. It set the expectations for the presentation that this was going to be a presentation talking about a whole bunch of Pokemon announcements, and they might not be big deal announcements. Um, so throwing Pokemon Unite into last week, even like, you know, five, eight minutes of it, would have been acceptable and wouldn't have had this negative reaction. But they didn't do it that way. 
And I feel like this is the fundamental issue where I kept filling a poll that I didn't want to stream this. I don't want to stream the negativity. I didn't want to stream the shock value, or I guess for me, the lack of shock value in what the Pokemon company did. Because I honestly think they are just completely disconnected from their fan base. And I think they've been completely disconnected from their fan base for quite some time. Even the way they handled the announcement of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee back in the day, like, wasn't exactly... It was kind of tone deaf, I guess, the way they announced it. So even though I ended up loving the game, it doesn't really matter. It sold 10 million. It was a success. That's great. But I think that at this point, I don't know that anytime the Pokemon company tries to get us hyped up, that we can trust it at all. Um, for you diehard Pokemon fans, you're still going to tune in every single time. But I am not a diehard Pokemon fan. Maybe that's a shocker on a Nintendo channel, but I'm just not a diehard Pokemon fan. And because I'm not a diehard Pokemon fan, I only get excited about specific Pokemon. And that's, as I said, the new Snap game, you guys saw my reaction to it last week. Awesome. Love it. I'm excited. If there would have been a new Stadium game, would have been loved it, would have been excited. Heck, a new Generation or even a new Let's Go game would have been pretty excited. And again, that's what a lot of my hype video that I was going to release was going to be about. But there was just that something, that little voice in my head that said, the Pokemon company's playing us. And they're not even playing us intentionally. They legitimately thought Pokemon Unite was worth its own presentation and its own hype cycle. And again, it might be a big deal and it might be a massive moneymaker for them. In fact, I think a Nintendo MOBA in general encompassing all of their major characters would be a pretty big deal for Nintendo. But for consumers, mm, not so much. Um... We're not going to be impressed by something that it feels like everyone else does. Tencent does it as an example. Like everyone else seems to make MOBAs. Uh, we're not really going to be that excited about it, even if it ends up being really good. Because it's just not something to be hyped about. People didn't get that hyped about League of Legends back in the day. Like when League of Legends was announced and, and going to be coming out, it's free to play game. People didn't get excited about it. Now, nowadays, people are kind of excited about it now that they're into it and they love it, but it really wasn't like this big deal announcement. It kind of slow built into what it is, and that's what probably should have happened with Unite. If it would have been paired next to Cafe, it would have been paired next to Pokemon Smile, cool. It's just another one of those spinoff games that they're trying something new, and this one's a little bit bigger than, say, Cafe and Smile, but still, it's just a spinoff game, and we'll see what happens, just like a Mystery Dungeon or whatever when that was first attempted. Like, it's a spinoff game. It's cool. Detective Pikachu, spinoff game. It's cool. But they just, they, they, they just continue to baffle. Like, we could have even gotten Detective Pikachu 2, which has been announced to be in development. That would have been an expected bigger announcement just because it's already established. And that's the thing. People, you know, I said mentioned they didn't handle the Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu announcement the best way with the fans. But now that it's established and it's popular, it would make sense to do a standalone thing for a new Let's Go game. It would make a, uh, sense to do a standalone thing for Detective Pikachu. It would make sense to do a standalone game for many different types of games that they've already released and are making sequels for. It doesn't make sense to take this brand new thing that you have no idea if it's even going to be successful and make it into this big thing that you're working on and try to hype it up for a week instead of just including it in with the slew of other Pokemon announcements. And maybe it would have been the second most talked about thing coming out of that presentation. I'm sure the new Pokemon Snap would have still topped the list, but it might have been like right below that Pokemon Snap game is something people are, are cautiously optimistic for. Instead, people are just pissed off. All we're getting for Pokemon this year in terms of new major stuff is DLC. And the DLC, at least the first pack released so far, seems to be being received pretty well. And I feel like they're doing a really good job with that DLC. But people did wonder, if we're getting that DLC, what else are we going to get in its stead? And it definitely appears we're not getting a Let's Go game. We're not going to get um, you know, a remake of anything else. Uh, we're just going to be getting Pokemon spinoff games. And that's fine, but you... The way they set it up was as if they were going to announce a new spinoff, or not a new spinoff game, a new core game, whether it was a remake or whatever. That's the way it was set up. And that's not what we got. And that's why people are disappointed. And Game Freak needs to learn a valuable lesson from this, that you can't tease something as a big deal when you don't fundamentally understand what a big deal is to your own fan base. When Pokemon Go was announced... Nobody knew it was going to be the biggest mobile game, basically, of all time. Nobody knew that. And it wasn't treated like it was going to be. That announcement was handled well. 
this announcement was not. So, um, again, this is nothing against Pokemon Unite. It might turn out to be a really fantastic MOBA. I'll probably give it a try. Maybe I end up falling in love with it. And it ends up being what gets me into MOBAs because I have some other friends that play MOBAs. And honestly, it might be really popular and it might be a big money maker. I just, I don't like how they handled the announcement. And I think if the Pokemon company wants to avoid so much negative backlash, which it felt like 2019 was full of backlash after backlash after backlash over Pokemon Sword and Shield... I feel like if they want to start getting more positive feedback, more positive buzz, um, that they just need to recognize what the fan base thinks is a big deal versus what the company thinks is a big deal. Right now, the Pokemon franchise, Sword and Shield, 17 plus million copies sold, all this stuff, massively successful, right? It's still a minuscule amount of revenue compared to Pokemon Go. Clearly to them, Pokemon Go and other mobile games like it, including now the new MOBA, you know, the new Pokemon Unite game is more important to them um, because they make more money. But you could still announce those games and not insult the fan base at the same time. So it feels like they kind of took us off our ride, slapped us around, and I somehow avoided that ride at the last moment when I already had content and a live stream planned for it. So good good job, Nate. You kind of predicted this would happen. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm, I, I am a fan of Pokemon. Uh, I, I have been slowly getting back into the franchise over the past couple of years, but, um, they still have a lot to learn. Uh, and I don't know if they ever will because they just keep making money hand over fist. I mean, they, honestly, I question sometimes if the Pokemon, if the Pokemon company makes more money than Nintendo at times, because they just make so much bank on Pokemon. But I don't know, guys, you guys, let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. What's your reaction to Pokemon Unite? Are you upset more about the game or about the way they treated the game? Because I don't think there's an issue with Unite existing. Um, but how they got us to it uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rovajess from the Center Prime. Be sure to enter our giveaway for Paper Mario, the Origami King. Uh, and I will just catch you guys in the next video.